What's going on everyone and my name is Daniel and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee have been officially announced and what I wanted to do today was go through the graphics, how the game is going to look. When it comes to a game going from a handheld console like the 3DS to the Nintendo Switch, the big question on a lot of people's minds were how is the game going to look, how is it going to change, what's the style going to be like and how are they going to make use of the better hardware to make it a better experience to play. So we have our first trailer here for the game, and the first thing I'd like to say before anyone jumps on me or, or yells at me or anything like that is that first off, is graphics the main selling point for a game? Generally, no. Is graphics the most important part of a game? No. It's the gameplay that generally draws people in, but since this is a big hardware upgrade, I felt that it was important to touch on. Secondly, it says in the trailer that the game footage is not final, so technically anything could change between now and release, but generally when it comes to releasing trailers, it means they generally have the, the graphic style, the art, everything down pat before they release the trailer because they want people to know what this thing's gonna look like and how it's gonna be before they show it off to everyone. Um, generally, nothing changes between our trailer being released, at least big, nothing big changes between a trailer being released and the game being released. Sometimes there's even downgrades in, you know, the whole Watchdog controversy. That was a long time ago and I'm assuming that that isn't gonna happen for this game. I'd be really disappointed if it did. So, graphics aren't the most important part of a game. And technically, this anything could change from now and between now and release. So without further ado, let's have a look and see what we got here. So this is the first official trailer. And also I want to say that this is a trailer that was on YouTube. So YouTube isn't exactly the best at conserving the graphical quality of videos. Sometimes there's you know, little downgrades in how the video looks when you upload it between when you make it and upload the video. So there is also that as well. And also I'm uploading this as a video. So this is... This isn't exactly how the game will look on your Switch. Just keep that in mind. The main thing I want to talk about is the actual style of the game. So first I'm going to pause on the first screen here. Now, unfortunately my face cam is like covering the- covering what I wanted to point out. These wires look super dopey, but you know, it's just a wire in the background. It's not exactly- You can't really see- hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can point that out. You can't really see it well, but that- that wire is like merged with that wire. It's kind of funny. But I wanted to kind of go through how the game looks, uh, kind of my expectations of what I thought it was going to look like and what it does look like. Some things that I really like about this art style, this- this- these graphics, and some things that I don't like about it. And of course you can share your opinions in the comment section below as well. And we can all just be generally nice and good to each other because in the end of the day, right, we're all fans. We all want the best from Pokemon. That's all we want. We want the best, right? We want the best, but let's have a look. So first off, we have the main character here who's a giant ass head. And this kind of looks a little bit doofy to me. Um, Pikachu looking cute though. Pikachu looking kind of cool. I, I, I don't really see many, many issues with this. And we see our first picture of, of kind of what the towns will look like. Now the edges of the buildings, um, they're, they're a bit jagged. There, they're a bit jagged. And I don't want to spend the entire time just poking the little nitpicks and stuff like that. I just want to point out generally what I'm kind of seeing here. We see some little flowers there. Look, it, it looks okay. Like the models, the, the models look all right. I'm not, uh, not too, not too upset about the models. And then we get our first look at the roots. The tall grass looks, eh, the tall grass looks okay. Generally, it's just root one, which is kind of, it's just root one. We get a look at, I think this is a Viridian City. Oh God. <laughs> now we get a close up look at Eevee. Now, like I said, this is uh, a video from YouTube. So the, the video quality isn't exactly on par. But it, see, when you hit like a close-up look at the characters, the models themselves don't look super weird. You have a lot of kind of like clipping in here. If you look at um, like you have you have a lot of like weird floatiness in the in the strap there. But overall, you know it, that's to be expected. It's not really a big deal. If we go back to the forest though, I see the shadows in the forest. The kind of the, the shadowing that they've done here. I think this looks really cool. I think the shadowing that done a forest, they, they kind of show off the canopy by by shadowing over most of the forest. Like that, that, I think this looks nice. I think that the forest here, I think the forest here looks very good. I'm pretty happy with this. The water, the water is, the, I mean, the water is water. Like it, it could be better, it could be worse. It's just, it's just kind of there. And then you have the general, the general look of uh, Vermilion City there. And it looks, oh, it looks all right. But actually, if we go back to, whoops, skipped ahead there. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> Uh, you have Eevee just kind of sitting on the head. This looks a little bit weird, and I'm not gonna lie, the Eevee sitting on the head thing looks, yeah, that just looks a little bit strange. 
I'll be like go through this slowly. It's just that it's kind of like I mean It's okay. I suppose it looks a little bit off to me, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's okay We'll, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. The next thing we have here is Professor Oak and his and his root one goodness and this is where my kind of issues with the start to come in here the root one and the general layout of, of the Kanzo region it's exactly the same as it was with yellow and, and and back 20 years ago and depending on how you wanted the game to be laid out that could be fine to you personally I think it looks like everything will just be a little bit too confined with this it looks like it's it's the kind of layout of a root of a roots and a region that we should have moved on from like 20 years ago <laughs> or not 20 years ago maybe like 10 years ago but for now in this day and age in 2018 it looks like this kind of layout this kind of grid layout for the for the roots and for the region it's not really up to par with standards that we've set now Honestly, but hold on. Let's have a let's have a closer look at Professor Oak here. Everything everything I honestly Oak's office looks kind of cool We got a lot, a lot of nice little stuff here in the background to show his storing his work and stuff. He's got his books He's got his computer um, Close up Oak. Oak looks all right. He looks kind of cool. Just just general good old Oak And we have Pikachu sitting on a thing looks okay. I guess it's fine Pikachu looking happy Pikachu's a cute little boy. What is I don't know what's going on with Pikachu I'm pretty, pretty sure Pikachu's supposed to have fingers, right? Pikachu's supposed to have fingers? Oh, this, this looks a little bit weird. This, this little ed edge here looks a little bit strange, but it's fine. Okay, we'll uh, move on to the next part. Now, we have the Pokemon outside, so there's no random encounters. The Pokemon that you find are just outside chilling, and it's kind of like it's kind of like Pokemon Go, and they use the same. It looks like the same they use the same models as Pokemon Go as well, which is a little bit disappointing because I'm not gonna lie. Some of these models don't look very good. Like this Pidgey, for example. Pidgey does not look great. But I see, I know they're going with the same art style as Pokemon Go and that's what they want to do with this. And that's, that's okay, I guess. Wait, you see the little zoom in here on the Pokeball? Like it's, but the Pokeball looks okay. It's not really that great, but it's, it's Pokemon Go graphics that they've just put onto the Nintendo Switch. It doesn't look like they've, they've really, yeah, I, I love this though. This co-op thing, I love this. Not really relevant to the, to the topic of the video. Looks cool though. So we go back. Like, look at that, look at that ladder. <laughs> okay, it makes sense. They're using the same grid layout as all the other games. It makes sense that ladder just kind of goes to nowhere. But this looks, on a Nintendo Switch, and on updated graphics, this looks so dated. <laughs> but okay, okay, it's obvious that that was gonna happen anyway. I'm not gonna sit there and nitpick again. Um, the battle, actually the battle screen, considering the, the, like the user interface and stuff, considering how people were like, oh, how are they gonna, how are they gonna have all this in one screen? I think they did a pretty good job. Even with the, like the multiplayer version of this, like it looks like, I, I think they did a pretty good job at doing the layout of this. I'm not too upset about that. And that animation, pretty cool. Not gonna lie, this animation, Pretty decent, not gonna lie. They still have this the usual turn-based battles. Uh, let's have a look at some of the battle animations. Battle animations are battle animations. It looks like they're okay. They're using the same return animation from Sun and Moon. It looks like yeah, they're using the exact same return animation from Sun and Moon, and it's it's, it's, it's a cool animation. They're probably just reusing it to save time, make sure that the game the game out on time, and that's okay, I suppose. We have the Pokeball stuff coming up here. Now, I don't know how to feel about the Pokeball stuff. First off, it's gonna be kind of expensive, but if you look at this, that's how big a Psyduck is? That's that's kind of one of my issues. I think there's gonna be, I think some of the Pokemon are gonna look really doofy in the overworld, considering how big they're supposed to be com compared to like how big they are in the game. So like you have a Psyduck here, and the Psyduck is literally the size of your player character. And that's su that's kind of ridiculous. Like how, a Psyduck is the size of a 10 year old. That's a really big duck. <laughs> That's a big ass duck, and then it like, and then look this. It looks really small. It looks like a normal duck size now. But in the overworld, it's like there's a disparity between the overworld model and the in-game model, or the in-battle model, where it looks completely different. Um, but maybe that's maybe that's something that will fix. Maybe they'll rescale some of the models because that's something you can do pretty quickly, and it shouldn't take too much in the way of effort. The Pokeball thing is kind of cool. Uh, you got some gra- uh, there's not much in the way of graphics going on here, you're just showing off some of the Pokeball. Let's take it for a stroll. We can go and get some salads and, you know, stroke your Pikachu in its ball, I guess. That's kind of cool. And you can see the models of the Pokemon Go here. 
There's the, the go connectivity. Let's get back into the game, dude. Let's get back into the game. Okay, so this? Hold on, no, no, not this part. This part. Okay, this looks fucking cool. Charizard looks super duper cool. I, I think that this, this area here where you can release your Pokemon and walk around with them and, and see them all like in fully flat, you can go and like talk to them and stuff like that. This looks really nice. This looks really nice. Dude, the Charizard model looks so good. I'm not even gonna lie on that one. The Charizard model looks really good. Uh, and then we have this surprise present. I'll talk about that probably in a later video. But it has just general stuff now. Now this, again, again, this is something that I'm really excited for. This, and this is something that I'm excited for, but also will kind of really show how dated the layout of the region is. The riding the Pokemon mechanic. Look at that giant ass Onyx. And the way that you're gonna ride it is through these tiny, tiny little baby roots. It's gonna, I think it's gonna really show off like how small the region actually is and how dated the designs are for the roots. But we'll see, like you have, you have the Onyx here and then you have the Lapras, but they're all gonna be on such small roots that you can just barrel through so quickly and easily. Like, look at this! You have a giant ass Charizard that you can fly around on. I'm like, that that looks so great. But at the same time, you're gonna you're gonna fly for five seconds one way and you'll be at the end of the route. That's what kind of worries me a little bit. Now look at this. This looks great. How the Pokemon can follow behind you and stuff like that. But it feels it's I think the problem for me is more for the the overall world. And that, that's to be expected. It's it's a remake of yellow. But I would have been a little bit happier if they did a full re revamp, redesign on the region to make it fit for a bigger world, rather than just literally upgrade the graphics and keep every grid spacing exactly the same, is what it looks like they've done here. So it looks, yeah, it looks like they've kept everything the same, which to some people, they, they'll be excited for that because it's literally like a remake, it's just a better graphics, Pokemon Yellow, and they're like, yes, that's what I wanted, that's fine. It, this is my childhood, and this is what I wanted to see. And then other people who'd be like, yeah, but big Pokemon Switch game, really trying to put forward what you can do on the new hardware, really trying to impress people, and everything just looks the same as it was before. I feel, personally, if they did a revamp redesign on Kanto, kept most of the Kanto stuff the same, but made the region bigger and, and more fulfilled. I, I don't exactly know how to describe this right now, but it just seems like the region itself is way too small for what they're trying to do. Look at this! Look at the Moltres! It's so fucking cool! The little animation there with the flames, the particle effects, that looks nice. I do like that. Uh, but at the same time, like, the, the, the model, I think the model of the Moltres... Yeah, the fire on the model of the Moltres does not look that good, but the particle effects look really nice. And you have the Abra there. You have a Snorlax. You got all the stuff. And... <laughs> Well, listen, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! So, so it... <laughs> oh god, that's like, that's like a really bad little cut there. Like, I understand there's probably holes in the hat for Eevee's ears, but it just, it literally just looks like they didn't even try and make this costume even fit Eevee decently. Look at that! It just, it just looks so... the, the ear holes! <laughs> And the ear holes were big. Look at that! They're, they're moving. <laughs> like I, I like the costume idea. Oh, I okay. I, I like that a lot. I like the costume idea, but they were. Oh, the hats look really bad when it comes to the ears. The hats look really bad when it comes to the ears. Let's see them in battle. Okay, so we get to see them in battle here. You see on your shoulder. That's a cool idea. I like that. And you get to see the enemy in the distance. That's cool. I like that. More animations. Uh, I mean, they're okay. That's kind of cool. That that is literally Sun and Moon's animation with better graphics. And then here here is one of the problems I had with the models. This Mewtwo model looks awful. I'm sorry. This Mewtwo model does not look like a Switch model. This Mewtwo model does not look like a Switch model. Like when you compare the graphics that we've seen there to things like Breath of the Wild or Mario Odyssey, when you look at things like screenshots like this, like you just I, I'm just sitting here thinking like, it looks nice, but are we just saying that it looks nice? because it actually looks nice, or are we saying that it looks nice because it's better than what a 3DS could do? Is the main question that I want to put forward to you guys. What do you think about the, how the game style looks? Do you think this is a good direction to go in, or, are we, or do you just think that we're kind of just making do with what we have because we used to play on a 3DS and we're used to kind of shitty bad graphics 
And you know, this is better than the 3DS, so that's okay. But when you just look at stuff like from, from Breath of the Wild, from Myro Odyssey, I understand that Game Freak isn't exactly built to make games like Mario or Zelda, but Pokemon is the biggest media franchise in the world. If they wanted to, they could do anything they wanted with it. They can make any kind of world that they wanted. They could make this if they wanted to in the Pokemon world. They could make this if they wanted to in the Pokemon world. Uh, but we just kind of, we just kind of have this, which like, like I said, the, it looks, it's a nice style. I do like a lot of the parts of this, but the region itself seems very confined. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, I know also, I would like to point out that I know that Let's Go Pikachu is, it seems to be more of a holdover game that for, we're gonna get from now until next year where we'll get a proper Gen A game. So also there's the, there's the idea of, is this just like a, a, a stop in the road? Where we're gonna be like, okay, this is this is we're just kind of testing the waters. The Switch is the training game, and then we're gonna go all out in the next generation game. Do you guys think we're gonna get a big, huge world that really fits the Switch in the next game, or do you think we're gonna get more of grid layouts like this in in the Generation Eight game that we get in 2019, which has been confirmed as well? So a lot of stuff to talk about here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time.